You know, I, I'd say one. Um, just can't can't express just how much um, the room and myself are indebted to, to Q Robinson. Um, I, I just with him, I, my hope with Q is that people will realize just how much he means to this program, how much he's poured into it, um, and um, that how much he helped me when I got here and, and, and continuing the things that the position has always been about. And he embodied that. And, uh, you know, he's been helping me prepare a lot of these younger guys for this opportunity every day. A lot of times um, I don't have a, a grad assistant or anything, so he helped me a lot every day with just making sure those guys in Quay Rousseau, Yonze Pierre, Noah Carter, um, Jay Sean Ross, um, really just helping me get those guys ready. And, and obviously, Quay Rousseau, who's contributed a lot this year, and Yonze, you know, battling an injury at one point, being able to come back um, and contribute. He played the most plays that he's played um, this season. And so I'm looking forward to those two guys and the young guys and, and finding an opportunity and a role. Um, you know, their red shirts are over now. And so they can contribute. There's no, I don't have to hold those two guys back. And I'm looking forward to them striving to go earn opportunities with the details. Yeah, what, I mean, obviously Q's got injured or may have fun, but what, what can he do or what role will he have kind of through this rest of the season for you? I, he came to our Monday, uh, we have a voluntary meeting and we just kind of go over the film for the week, just get him an idea. And he showed up and I said, I just, I need you, man. I need you here. I need those lessons. I need you talking to them with your voice, your leadership, just like the guys like, uh, you know, Tim Keenan, uh, Tim Smith, Malachi. Like, he is one of those guys. Like, I know we don't have a million captains, but in my eyes, that guy's lived the same way. And, and, and that's what being a leader at Alabama looks like is you make an impact. You'll be judged on how you affect other people. And he's left an impact on this room. Now officially more the, the GA. Uh, you know what? If, if he if he will help me out, I know he's got some rehab to do, but I'd, I'd love to have him uh, out there as much as I can to, to, to be that voice. So. I've uh, I've heard from Coach Moore the daunting schedule that the coaches have. <laughs> it's oh. a pretty full yeah. week, yeah. and I know that I don't want to disrespect the current opponent, mm -hmm. but I wonder if there's a time when you can look ahead to such important games as are coming up at the end of the season. And also, conversely, I guess, how do you keep your players from doing that? Yeah, I know, um, obviously, a lot of times, you know, we, we're not naive as coaches to believe that the outside, uh, we don't really get to get out much as coaches. Um, and the players do. They're walking on campus. And um, obviously, a game like LSU is a opponent that a lot of people are talking about, a lot of buzz around that. But I think the way that we as a team, as a staff, stay focused is uh, what Coach DeVore's whole program is about, is, is being going on and out, being focused. I think that that's a way, whether bad or good, to stay, uh, to keep that, that focus on the things that matter because we're, nothing's promised. I think the season has shown that at, at times in the, the, the games that we didn't perform up to level, whether win or loss, that we thought we could perform to. And I think that this is going to be one of those those weeks where that is paramount. We, 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 we played so great last week, and if we don't perform the way that up to our standard, the Alabama standard, um, we've got more things to deal with than, than uh, maybe at other times. And so as coaches, I think I've been harder on my guys this week coming off of a win because we've had great wins. And when you don't repeat that, that means that mentally there was a, a, a slack off and we've been harping on that probably louder than ever. This week, and so we need to take a step forward as a team and complete, um, complete uh, performing to our standard, Being, showing that on on game day, and that's what we expect every game, but especially after having the great success that we, we wanted to have at the Have you seen? Go. <laughs> Backpacking off of that, um, this season has been crazy. But what have you loved that has stayed consistent throughout the team this whole season? You know, I, I'd say this the intensity from the leadership. Um, guys like Tyler Booker, Malachi Moore, um, you know, Deontay Lawson, Jahat Campbell spoke to the team today. Um, the intensity that those guys come with because um, the leaders, you will always respect the guys that you line up next to. And so when those guys have it, it's like, man, I've got to step my game up. I can't, I can't um, take a, mi a minute off a playoff. And we know that any play could be the play. You know, we, it came down to a handful of plays in the Vanderbilt and Tennessee game. Um, to see the leadership, no matter who we're playing, keep the intensity, that is what um, 
as a coach, I'm excited about and what I appreciate coming in the building. What did Jihad say today? Just it talked about, hey, if you are if you are not going to give your all for Alabama in practice, you don't need to be here. And that's just, that, that, but that's something that those guys, you see it, they talk about it, but he's one of those guys that lives it. Tyler Booker, he lives it. You know, I'm he, the, the leadership on this team is what drives this team, and I'm excited to see what they continue to do. John's a guy that can maybe give more reps in your position now if you're down. Just how do you think he can excel in that role, and maybe has he worked with you at all in practice to work on that? No, he, he has, and that's one thing Coach Morell and uh, Coach Walnut, we just we spent a lot of time. You know, like I, like I said earlier in the year, like how if a guy is versatile and you can line him up at several different places, the offense is having to figure out what he's doing. I, I've seen a growth in him, a desire to refine the things that he maybe didn't do all the time positionally. And so I, I've spent time with him pass rushing. I know Q Robinson leading up to before getting uh, banged up, spent a lot of time with the one on one and on, uh, just talking about, hey, this is how I do it and, and really learning from each other as well. And so. He's taken a great leap in, in that, and I think he's enjoying that, man, I'm versatile, I can line up. People have to wonder what I'm going to do going before the ball snap. I'm sorry if you've already been asked about it, but Yanzi, how much, what has he shown you since his growth this year? I, the thing with him that I'm most proud of is um, a lot of guys, when they're young, they, they're just happy to be here. Um, and that's normal. I was that way when I when I went to Georgia. And it's like, and then there comes a point when you realize, man, I need to do this now. And you see some habits change. And we talked today about, you know, the, the choices and actions that you take are going to lead to a habit. What type of habit on the field do I want? I want to be out there, and then I want to be counted upon. And I see that in him. He sits in the first chair in the meeting room. Um, he's taking notes that he didn't take when I first got here. And that's just the growth from being a young guy that, you know, with first round draft picks in the room where I'm not being expected to do much work. Now it's time for me to go. I see a sense of urgency from him and um, I can coach him hard and he knows that it's only for his good. And so those two things really, the, the urgency and then being uh, coachable, um, that's why he's having success and why I think he will help us contribute in a way that's impactful on Saturday. And he's Courtney Upshaw's cousin. Yeah. Are you familiar with Courtney's game? Do, yeah. Do you see it a little bit? At I, the, the, so when I first got here, he was about 217. And then he started to beef up a little bit. I was like, okay. And then I learned about that. I was like, you're starting to look like him. And uh, I hope you play like him too. <laughs> with, with Quay, how have you kind of seen him kind of accept now? He's kind of the, the top dog in the mm -hmm. room with, with Q. Like how have you seen him embrace that? And what do you expect? He's a, he, he's a quieter guy, but um, today when we break, each of the guys, I have them have a word for the year. And so um, that's one for two reasons. One, for them to have something that they hold on to for this season. And two, for them to speak to their teammates about what that word means. And his word is blessed. And he talked about just, man, like we have this opportunity to go and improve, come out to practice. Um, and we've seen teammates that are no longer with us and wouldn't they love to be here doing what we're doing. And so to come with that, whether you're a loud guy or a guy that can speak a lot like a booker or a jihad, he's a guy that's more thoughtful. And so when he speaks, guys know if he's gonna say you, speak up and say something that he means it. So I see him being thankful um, and trying to push guys and, and he's coaching. I've seen him talk to Noah and the younger guys more and you know, sometimes when there's a void, that's, that's when those guys step in. And when you, you look around the room, who's going to lead it? And I, I see him and Yonze being two of those guys to do it. You, you, never want to, you never want to lose a guy like no. Q, but at the same time, can that be kind of galvanizing where the rest of the unit kind of wants to play for him and kind of lift, lift it up an extra notch to kind of make up for that? We, we talk about that a lot because I said, like, especially when we broke it down, I was like, man, look, he's not here. And, you know, Yonze was banged up at one point, and I think he, that was a change in his mind as well. But what I, I felt what it was like to not have it. We see what it's like, and you see I'm Q torn up after the game about knowing, like, I'm, I might play my last play. You don't know that. So if you come with that mindset, what are you willing to do moment by moment to not only refine your craft to be your best way to help you? Christian, when you, there's a lot of talk about how multiple, how versatile, outside linebackers at Alabama can be. Yes. When you think, of, when you pitch that position to recruits, like is there kind of a, you know, a base level of, you know, whether it's physicality, whether it's like intangibles, like height, weight, size, speed, that you need to say, say, this is, this is what you have to be at a base level to be able to be seen mm -hmm. by Alabama. 
that, uh, you're not you're not wrong. I, I think a lot of it is, you know, I, I talk to families and I focus on building a relationship, but there is an expectation in what you physically can do on Saturday. And so once that door is open, there's certain things, size. I mean, you got to take on guys like Caden Proctor and Booker. So there's a, there's a mass and a, and a violence that has to be a part of that. And then at my position, guys that can do, I really, I, I, I say it to, to pump us up in the room a couple times, but the truth is we got to do stuff with the back end. We have to do stuff with the front end. We are at the end of the line. We're off the ball. We're playing man. We're playing zone. I don't know, and I might be biased, but I think it's one of the most versatile positions I've coached because they have to have an awareness of what's going on around them and play at the line and off the ball. And so um, there is an expectation of what they physically have to do, and we're trying to find guys that are that love the, the math and the, the scheme of football and don't just want to be, I want to set edges. That's great but then they're gonna pay you to move around the field uh, when you're playing at the next level. And the guys historically have done that here have been able to do that. Thanks, y'all.